What's up, y'all? I'm Lady, and today I am here to discuss Light Skin Gone to Waste by Tanya Ann Johnson, and this is a collection of short stories. I'm outside the library, and I'm about to drop this one off. I have only a few notes on this book. Um, so this shouldn't be a long video, but I definitely want to talk about this book. First of all, the title within itself grabbed my attention, Light Skin Gone to Waste. And when the title shows up in the one of the stories, um, I was like, I knew. I knew the type of character that would say this sentence. Okay, and that's all I'll say about that. Um, if you've been around my channel for any length of time, you know that I usually stay away from short story collections. But this one was different because all 10 of these stories follow the same family and they're all connected so the author um categorizes this book as autobiographical fiction so i think that she did an excellent job with you know partially telling her story i guess um I read this book over the course of three days. I had the physical book, and y'all know I love, if it's available, the audio book. Let me tell y'all, the audio book was read by the author, Miss Tony Ann Johnson, and it was phenomenal. It was phenomenal. She was excellent with bringing out the emotions and sounding, you know, when she was reading those hard parts of this story so i highly recommend the audio book if you don't have time to sit down with the physical book um like i said this is a collection of 10 short stories and overall i think that i rate this one five stars i i think i did I think Let I did. Let me read to you all what it says on the back. I can't, I'll have to refer to my notes since there is a sticker on here. But it says, in 1962, Philip Arrington, a psychologist with a PhD, arrives in the small, mostly blue collar town of Monroe, New York, to rent a house for himself and his new wife. They're black, something the man about to show him the house doesn't know. With that, we're introduced to the Arringtons, Phil, Velma, his daughter, Livia, from a previous marriage, and his youngest daughter, Maddie, soon to be born. They're cosmopolitan, sophisticated. They're also troubled, arrogant, and throughout the linked stories falling apart and that is the perfect synopsis of this short story collection okay i was so pissed a lot of times when reading this story feel in story one i loved i felt for him him having to be the first black man to bring his family in this community and the troubles that you know he were facing but by story three i didn't care a uh, phil and velma toxic okay it's toxic i must warn you that story number three which is lucky is heartbreaking it's heartbreaking so prepare yourself for that i won't go into detail but if you pick it up just know that one that story there was a lot to take in a lot to take in so all of these stories were connected it's hard for me to pick out you know which one i enjoyed the most but the main themes in this short story collection is about um, family dynamics, colorism, racism, and classism. Um, Maddie, she grows up in an environment where 
99% of the time, she is the only child of color. She's light-skinned. And if she was in a black community, uh, that light skin would have provided her with some privileges. And that's just the honest truth. Um that she doesn't have access to those privileges of being the only black girl in a white setting. And the thing she went through, it really made me think about, for me, most of my upbringing was the exact opposite. Uh, when I went to school, everyone that I went to school with all the way up till I graduated high school looked like me. I my family, everything, my environment was very black um, until I got to college. It was the opposite for Maddie. And my heart just goes out to, you know, because we're all humans, right? But we also have our different cultures and things that separate us, that make us different. We are different, but just because we're different, does it mean that one is better than the other or one should be respected while the other is not? We're just all different. And it just sometimes feels good to be around people that you can relate to. So I just know that was hard for her. And one part that I remember, and it came up in another book I was reading, this person is going through a hard time. Maddie is going through a hard time, suffering a lot um, and being mistreated a lot. And all her mother keeps telling her is how lucky she is. She doesn't have to live in certain conditions. She has access to all the best things. And you should be so lucky that we travel and take you everywhere. Oh, my goodness that bothered me so in this story and so I, I i just you know you just never know what someone is going through you know and so for you to look at someone and just think they're lucky because of certain things you you know that's you just shouldn't do that and another part with phil and um his mother. This isn't a spoiler, um, but I felt sorry for Phil, and I almost kind of empathized with him a little bit, but some of his decisions just upset me so, so bad to where I didn't care. Um, he he had a uh, um, did not have a good relationship with his mother, and you'll read why. And when they um, somewhat reconciled, she tells him, "Well, I didn't have to be as loving to you because you're light skinned I had to love on your brother because he's of a darker complexion." And I'm like, wow, to hear that from your mother, you know, that was a lot. That was a lot to take in. Um, but again, I, I still feel is one of those characters that, I, that I'll go down in history of my reading as one of the characters that I most disliked. So, that is it for Light Skin Gone to Waste. I do recommend this collection. This was, it was really good, y'all. It was really good. You will not regret picking this one up. Um, I haven't finished a book since reading that one. I do have, um, I am in the middle of... What happened to Ruthie Ramirez? So likely my next video will be a book talk about this one. But that is it for me in this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I am Lady and I will see you all in my next one. Bye y'all.